Hello, my name is Kevin and welcome to the Love Decanters channel. So today I'm going to talk about centrifuge casting. So yeah, what that is, is you have a, say a bowl shaped uh, mould and um, you put some molten glass in it and spin it and the glass creeps up the sides of the bowl and um, yeah, and that's how you make the bowl by making it go up the sides. And, and usually the cast that you're making it in is, is usually textured and, um, and it gives, usually gives an icy effect to the, to the glass. I've seen a really nice little, sh very short video on what it looks like. And um, you don't really want to be in the same room while it's been done. At least I don't. Um, uh, there's a the video is by a guy called Sam Robbins, and he just shows you him dropping this blob of molten glass into this centrifuge, and then they spin it up, and you can see the glass go up the sides. I'll put a link to that because it's only about thirty seconds or so, but that's scary enough for me because that stuff, if it flew out and hit you, yeah, it, it wouldn't be very good. So. And centrifuge moulds give you a certain look. So I'm going to show you something that's probably not the most, because it's grey, normally it gives you a kind of icy look, and I'm going to show you some more bits, but I just want to show you the effect that you get. So you have this texture on the outside, and then on the inside it's really very smooth. Can you see that? So, and usually around the lip. So the whole edge is very smooth, um, but the inside... The outside is rough, so when it's the bowl, um, it's, I mean, obviously this bar, a bit of the cast was very smooth as well, but it's still, it's you can still see that it's got a surface that the glass is poured into. Um, and obviously because it's dropped into a cast, it has to come out like that as well. So there's something about them that also shows that, yeah, it's in a cast because it has to come out like that. If it's the other way around, I'm going to show you something else. I have here. So this is what's known as a slump glass where you have a, a bowl shaped hump and you drop your molten glass on the surface of it so the outside is smooth and then the inside is textured. Yeah, can you see? I mean this has got um, engraving all the way around it and little painted on. Uh, fly but um, yeah so this is see the outside is smooth and the inside is slumped and and also the smoothness bit also goes round the edge of the glass as well because obviously it's pouring down and it doesn't actually hit the the, the ground in this in, on this one anyway so it just pours down and sits where it stops so yeah and you have to be you know relatively skilled. I mean, obviously if it's slumped, well, this is not exactly a straight edge, but this is our glass, so yeah, and I knew the person that made this. Um, so yeah, so that, just so you show them, there's two different techniques there, but this is the one that's um, centre views casting, and this is something that, you know, semi-industrial process that can you know you can repeat it and over and over again that's really an art thing where you can't really it's difficult to repeat over and over again and, and have it come out the same so anyway um what i've got is i've got some examples i'll show you some of my examples and i'll show you some book references as well so away we go so this is the first piece i'm going to show you it's quite a complicated shape for a centrifuge cast uh, this is made by Ravenhead, designed by Alexander Hardy Williamson. I think um, these were designed in 1980. And um, yeah, you can see the inside is really smooth. And the outside, it's got rough texture. I mean, that's deliberate. You could try and make the, 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 the cast smoother, but that kind of defeats the object of creating. You can use it to create this rather kind of icy look about it yeah so you want this texture but you don't want it to be too deep because then you wouldn't be able to pull it off the cast afterwards and if you if i show it like this you can see how yeah once it had cooled yeah it would just drop off them off the cast because everything is tapering 
in this direction so yeah you can just pull it off that way and then also the edge that I was telling you about where you can see smooth edge right round to the point where there's the cast it's hitting the cast okay so that's the feature you're looking for I'm going to show you some more examples just so you get the idea so here is the flare ball that I was showing you um, yeah the I think first shown February 1980. Um, I've got a few different designs, so they all look good. Um, it's a nice little bit on here. It talks about centrifuge glass. And um, it's in the process. The glass is forced up the sides of the mould while the mould spins at speeds up to 3000 RPM. Now, yeah, in the little video that I told you to have a look at, you can see it's going at a lick. I don't know how fast it's going. But it isn't slow. So, um, yeah. This one I'm showing you is by Dartington Crystal. Um, and you can see it's got that icy look I was, I was telling you about. And again, you can see it's really smooth. Um, this was designed in 1983 by Anita Harris for Dartington. Um, yeah, it's one of the, one of the, I wouldn't say few, but minority of designs that weren't my frank thrower it's quite a good design um and i do see them out and about so um they're not um super common but i see enough amount out and about to know that they were obviously very popular um and there's three different sizes and they kind of layer inside each other and yeah they are lead crystal so there you go and as i said it's got really smooth inside rough on the outside this book is dartington glass the first 20 years um, by linda and stuart uh, smithson you can see here the palm dishes that i was telling you about i think the one we're looking at might be uh this one i think and um yeah they and i said they stack inside each other they're, they're quite nice um but um yeah they're they're very stylish i quite like them and my wife quite likes them that's why we've managed to get two of these so far this is the last piece i'm going to show you because it doesn't really take a lot it's not really rocket science to show what this is like and, and I haven't got any more anyway um, so yeah this is um, I've been told this is by this is Japanese and it's by Mikasa but I have no proof of that but that's some some people's thought on it as you can see it looks like something from the bottom of a puddle you know when you've got a puddle with bits of stick frozen in it um, it's got that icy look that I was telling you about and the edge is the same for you know where where the, it's smooth right over the edge and then it's the rough bit where it's the mold so this must have been quite a big chunk of molten glass to spin but not go up very high up the edges just to create this kind of flat plate um, this was the first piece that I found um, I didn't know what centrifuge moulding was. I just thought, how did they do this? Because it's obviously this is natural glass. I couldn't figure out how this natural glass could be like this and then be on the end of, edge of here. I just couldn't figure out that this would, you know, it doesn't make sense as a mould. Because how do you make the mould go up the edge? And obviously as soon as you go, yeah, they spin the, 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 the casting that, or the mould that, that is in. <clears throat> and then it presses it into the edge of the edge of the mold like that it makes perfect sense so and as i said if you look at the video by sam robbins you'll see that process i don't have a book reference for this one like i did for the other two so yeah so this is all a new technique to me i've only learned about this since i started this channel um, you know, because I, I was into crusty old git glass, really. Um, 
and um, yeah, but it's quite nice, and um, yeah, my wife's quite excited by it, so she's always looking at pieces and seeing, and asking me, do you think this is cheap? This is quite nice. Anyway, um, I quite like it as well. It's something very stylish about it. It's got that kind of, what can I say? Mm, I mean, for this one, it's like the, like something from, if you ever remember that program, UFO from the 70s. If you had like a little plate on the top, it'd be like one of those. But um, yeah, they're very, very of their time. You know, they're, they're saying this one's from 1980, the other one's from 83. They were kind of what would look very, well, I know, because I was young then, they would have been very modern. Anyway, um, yeah, so, sorry, I'm getting carried away. Um, go and have a look at that um, little, it's only 30 seconds, I said, I'll put the link in the description. It's a great little video, it's just 30 seconds. Uh, I think his channel is fairly defunct. It doesn't look like there's very much going on there, but um, give him a like anyway, because it is such a cool uh, video, just showing you, this is this is it. I'm gonna put this, this glass in this cast and spin it up and you can see the bulb being created inside the cast. So um, yeah, it's, it's cool just to see it. Um, and I'll put the, the names of the books in the description below and please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Good night.